Rachel Gunn, better known in the breaking world as B-Girl Raygun, captured global attention during her Olympic debut at the Paris Games. At 36 years old, Gunn wasn't just another athlete, she was a university lecturer from Sydney, Australia, who had balanced her academic career with a passion for breakdancing. Her unique journey, from teaching in classrooms to representing her country on the world's biggest stage, made her a standout figure in the Olympic breaking competition, where she quickly became an internet sensation. Competing in a sport where youth often dominates, Ray Gunn entered the Olympic arena with a determination to showcase not just her moves, but also her creativity and originality. Wearing the green and gold of Australia, she took to the stage at the Place de la Concorde on a historic Saturday, performing in three round robin battles. Her routines featured moves that were distinctly her own, including a playful kangaroo hop, a backward roll, and various contortions that had her lying and crawling on the floor. These moves, while unconventional, embodied Ray Gunn's artistic approach to breaking, a style that prioritizes creativity over convention. However, despite her enthusiasm and originality, Ray Gunn's performances did not win over the judges. She faced tough competition against some of the world's best breakers, including USA's Logistex, France's Sissi, and Lithuania's Nika. In each battle, she was outscored 18-0, a result that reflected the judges' preference for more traditional breaking styles. But while she may have left the floor without a single point, she gained something arguably more significant, viral fame. As clips of her performances circulated on social media, the reactions were swift and divided. Some users on X, formerly known as Twitter, derided her routines as hilariously ridiculous, with one even questioning how she had qualified for the Olympics. The backlash reached such heights that even British singer Adele commented during a concert in Munich, calling Ray Gunn's performance the best thing that's happened in the Olympics, though her tone suggested she saw it as more of a spectacle than a serious athletic display. But for Ray Gunn, this was no joke. A lecturer at Macquarie University, her expertise lies in the very culture she was representing. Her research interests include breaking, street dance, and hip-hop culture, and her PhD thesis explored the intersection of gender and breaking culture in Sydney. Her academic background added layers to her Olympic journey, as she brought not only her skills but also a deep understanding of the cultural significance of breaking to the global stage. Reagan's path to the Olympics was far from easy, she started breaking competitively in her mid-twenties, a relatively late age for a dancer to enter the scene. Before that, she had dabbled in various dance forms, including ballroom, jazz, tap, and hip-hop, but it was breaking that captured her heart. Despite being older than most of her competitors in Paris, many of whom were half her age, she earned her Olympic spot by excelling at the Oceania Championships, a feat that required both skill and determination. After her Olympic debut, Reagan reflected on her performance with pride, stating, All my moves are original. Creativity is really important to me. I go out there and I show my artistry. Sometimes, it speaks to the judges, and sometimes, it doesn't. I do my thing, and it represents art. That is what it is about. 